that, that your energy levels on the way up. All right. Thank you very much for coming through this morning to the ninth annual um, African Renaissance Youth Conference. You are what the future has been waiting for. In order to turn the challenges that especially we as young people face in a country like South Africa, it's going to be important that we see the gap. We take charge and we begin to create our own opportunities. Although the notion of African Renaissance is not a new idea, it is the most prominent initiative to come out of Africa. Besides being a plan to harness Africa's potential, it is also an attempt to remove the sources of conflict in Africa. When society dies when you fail, is that it puts you down. What society does when you fail is that it doesn't open up other opportunities for you. So ultimately, get comfortable with the idea that success is the target, but ultimately failure is not an option. And I believe that it is our responsibility to fix our own country. It is for us to make the difference of what it is that we want changed and only we can do that. And why is that important? Because we all have different cultures, we have a different religion, we believe different things, we've grown up in different communities. Even the food we eat is different. And that is why it's our responsibility as South Africans to contribute and lead and change the things in our country that we want changed. We are Africans and we need to be proud of our Africa. And the best thing of living in today and being part of this beautiful de democracy that we have experienced is that we are part of being in motion and you and I are part of that motion. It is never too late to be who you might have been. Hamba, Abubega, you can do it. Don't get stuck in a corporate world where for the rest of your life you're going to be 40 years old and working there for 20 years and say, you know what, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave. When you feel that you can break into a market, leave. You have to have guts to succeed in life. Nothing's going to come easy. I think also we need to not fall into a trap that thinking because we have a good idea which we are passionate about, money is going to fall onto our laps. Rather, make humility, patience, a hunger for knowledge, a super level of tenacity, and an appetite to go where no one went before. Your biggest friends, and trust me, when it matters the most, things will start to come together. No matter how much you advertise something, or you spend time networking, if you are not remarkable, no one will share your story. And if you rely on only yourself sharing your story, you have nothing have a lot of work to do. Choose your industry, find an edge, and go. A very simple example is MTV. In an age when MTV launched, it was all about plug in and get as loud as you possibly can. MTV hadn't really been noticed they were getting out there. So what did they do? They found an edge, and they went there, and they launched MTV Unplugged. Okay, Completely different to what everyone else was doing, but repositioned it differently to all the other stations, and now they're one of the most successful music stations on TV currently. Believe in yourself. Believe in you. <coughs> Who you are and what you want to do. Love the skin you are in. You see this brown skin? I wouldn't change it if you gave me a pill, I'd tell you keep it. And it doesn't matter if you have white skin. It doesn't matter if you caramel. 
The color of your skin does not matter when it comes to achieving your goals. Look in the mirror, look at your face, look at your color, embrace it. Love it. Because that, that, that lack of self-love will also contribute to you not achieving. Life has taught me always to look on the bright side. Why? Because looking on the bright side does not blind you to the problems you are faced with, but it helps you to see them in a positive light. Right? People will say and do things to put you down so that you feel worthless, but if you allow them the edge, you'll find yourself in this land and your day will be ruined. And guess what? Once that day is gone, you can never get it back. So guys, when you sit in a session like this, you are adding to your value. I hope when you leave today, you learn, you know a little bit more. You can tell people how ESCOM started. You can talk about rugby with knowledge, you know, and not just about rugby, but development programs. You can talk about the hospitality industry. You can talk about advertising and how products and brands and people move within that space, right? You've got all that information. When I started this session, I said, guys, we're drowning in information, but we're really thirsty for knowledge. Think about the things you have learned here today. Think about what's been shared with you. But if we're going to convert it into knowledge, think about your own journey. Your own journey doesn't start when you are successful and you wake up. Because let me tell you, once you become successful, there is an unrelenting pressure to stay successful. <laughs>